lovely Christmas and Boxing Day. Um, we're back here again with the Newcastle Twitch stream. And uh, where do we um, where do we come back from? So we're currently top of the Premiership. That's 17 games played. 12 wins, 1 draw, 4 losses. 37 points accumulate. We're neck and neck with Manchester United. Liverpool and Arsenal are clipping at our heels. Um, we are coming up towards the transfer, the January transfer window. I'm hoping to get a bit of money so I can buy a certain Nigerian striker called Ormashong, but we will see. So let's get cracking. Let's see. Let's try and get to January as quickly as possible. Um, feel free to let me know what Christmas presents you got. I uh, I got a pair of Nike Air Jordan um Nike Air Jordan Jim Reds. 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 There we go. Sorry, we fixed it. Sorry about that. Um so some Nike Air Jordans. I'll just quickly show you. Nike Air Jordans Jim Reds they're called. So I'll just quickly show that. Uh Uh, just these so I've got these basically in, uh, and uh, I'm very happy because I've always wanted a pair of Air Jordans so I was absolutely buzzing when my mum got me these so yeah so I had a good Christmas I hope everybody else did feel free to comment in the chat room if let me know what you got for Christmas or um, let me know in the YouTube comments when I post this on YouTube so yeah, so I had a good Christmas, got to spend it with my family and my partner as well, so that was good. We had a really nice time, we watched a lot of Christmas films, I watched uh, Christmas Chronicles 1 and 2. Um, my girlfriend's never seen Miracle on 34th Street before, so that was a nice experience for her, she quite enjoyed that. So yeah, so it was a nice Christmas. Mum made me a lovely homemade trifle as well, so... Um, she knows how much I love trifles. Uh, unfortunately, both my nans, who are no longer with us, they used to make a trifle every Christmas because of the fact is they know how much I like I like homemade trifles. So, yeah, my mom's tried to carry on that tradition, which I appreciate. Yeah, um, but yeah, let's get on with the game. Joe Linton, hopefully, going to sign a new contract with us. He's been a good player for us to this say, so hopefully, we can tie him up to a contract for the rest of his. Or at least for the next couple of years. Got a new scout, Bojan Krivic. Kirk, Kirk, Kirkic. Where's he play? Where's he? What's he done before? So he was a player. And then. And a biography. Uh, milestones. So he hasn't. This is his first career. First um, job, sorry, I think. Oh, I could be wrong. It might not be that. But... Oh, here we go. So he's scouted for some big teams. So he scouted for Barcelona, Man City, then Barcelona again, and now to Newcastle. So hopefully he can get some good players. And we've also brought in David Trezeguet, former Juventus and River Plate striker. He was a very good player back in his day, and he's a very good scout as well. 18 and 19, 18 in ability, 19 in potential. Let's have a look, see who he has also been a scout for so he's been a scout for Juventus and Monaco before he comes to us so that's uh, some great experience to come with that as well I don't know what's happened here oh yeah sorry Trezeguet uh, I thought for some reason then we, we, we hired Trezeguet twice then um, but yeah so Knott's Forest is our next game hello Danker5H I think that's uh, my friend Dan but I could be wrong <laughs> Thank you, Dan. If you if you're watching, so uh, yeah, um, hopefully looking forward to getting some extra money to spend, but we'll see. Yeah. 
get through this quickly as possible. Christoph L uh, Lollishon comes here. Decent coach. Where has he been before? Uh, Marseille. So he's coached at Chelsea before and Rennes. He was a manager of a small team as well. And also Nantes. Um, Nantes or Nantes, I don't know how you pronounce it. But yeah. And also this man here, Said A. A gown. We're gonna say that. And uh, I do this every time, don't I? Milestones. There we go. Entire career. Uh, former Crystal Palace, PSG, and Uxa and Paris FC coach as well. So some quality additions to the staff here, which is always needed. Yeah, just let us know um what Christmas what you what your best Christmas present you received. Uh always appreciated. Nice to know what people get. So right, first game on the stream. We've got Pope in goal, Livramento on the his right back, uh Shah and Dummett in defence, Target on the left, Hall in the middle, with Longstaff, Coria on the right, Almion in the middle, Gordon on left, and Isaac up front. So let's see how we get on with that. Right. Submit team. A bit rusty on this side because I haven't, I haven't streamed in a few days because with the Christmas chaos. Um, in the meantime, in my downtime, I've been playing my Peebles Rovers offline FC. Uh, Peeble, Peebles Rovers FC offline save. Um, I've had two very frustrating seasons playing with them. Not being able to get promoted from the Lowland League, I've gotten to a certain point, and now I feel like I'm not going to get him further. But uh, if I wanted to turn it into a journeyman save, I can because I got offered quite a few big teams in Scotland. I got offered interviews with Aberdeen, Motherwell, Dundee United, and Ross County, and also in England, Bristol Rovers. So I could easily turn it into a journeyman save if I feel like I can't get Peebles much further. I would like to get Peebles into the Scottish Premiership at least if possible because my dad was born in Peebles. Oh, what a great goal by Correa. Oh, here we go. Referee's going to rule this out probably. VAR. Goal, goal awarded. Excellent. That's a good start. So, yeah, so I feel like I've took them as far as possible, um, people Rovers, but hopefully, like I said, I'll give it a couple more seasons and see how I get on with them. Um, but it's just nice to play a save where I don't have to put too much oh nearly emphasis on it or too much focus on it I, sometimes it's nice just to do an FM save where you just oh Gordon with the shot there nearly scored um, but yeah we'll see but yeah I enjoy the lower league saves more than I do the big teams uh, well obviously like I said while I'm getting used to streaming I'm just going to do this save and then in the new year I'm going to start a Everton YouTube series oh that was close you can see that there um, so yeah so onwards and upwards and then the, the plan is in about three or four weeks is to start a journeyman save on Twitch and then on YouTube I'm thinking of doing a youth only save with an EFL side like Burton Albion is one that stands out to me simply because they sh they use the training facilities that England have and that will hopefully mean I can produce some good young players to Burton hopefully that's the plan especially if I'm doing youth only but I also, I'm also thinking of maybe doing it as Southampton but that might be a bit too easy Almiron with the goal we're 2-0 up now against Notts Forest hopefully going to coast this game um, but yeah so we'll see looking forward to creating some content that people like and they're entertained by we got a penalty here are we going to be two VAR decisions in our row yes we are VAR is our friend today is Zach to take the penalty lines it up oh good save by their goalie lucky he's 
get a corner out of this. Hopefully, we can turn something into this. Livramento now on the right. Well, that's, well, I don't know what he was doing there. Just lost the ball. Uh, maybe he lacks the confidence to take the player on. Gordon, who doesn't lack confidence this season, takes the ball off. That was a terrible pass. Back to Livramento, Livramento now. See what he can do. Is he going to... Oh, passes it in nearly. Shah now. Back to Livramento. To Correa. In the middle to Hall. To Almiron. Gordon loses the ball. Great cross and a great header by Isaac there. Goal by Knott's Forest. Hopefully it's just a consolation goal, but it will... Oh, it's going to be checked by VAR. Oh, VAR is in our favour today. We're doing very well with VAR decisions today. I promise you, we have not bribed the officials. Target with the throw in now to Hall, to Almiron. Passes it out to Libramento. Libramento now with the pass. And a great little goal by Isaac. Nice little uh, shot there in the box. A bit of a poacher, Isaac, which is what we like. Newcastle like a uh, striker that can score goals. They've uh, they've got a good history of goal scorers with Alan Shearer, Andy Cole, Les Ferdinand, Tino Espira, um, Papas Sisse, you know, um, Mitrovic over the years. And now hopefully Isaac will take that mantle and bring the goals to the Geordie fans. Target now. Goes on. Shoots with his right. Goes off for a corner. I'm just going to praise the team because they're doing absolutely amazing so far. I can't ask for any better of them. Target now to Libramento. Shot. To Gordon. What a goal by Gordon. That was absolutely blasted it in. Oh, I got that completely wrong. I do apologise. I thought that was... I thought that was a goal. I thought he got in there all then. Oh, I don't know. I can't bother to look at the replay. Now we just got to see this game out. Let's uh, take target off. He looks knackered. We'll put Botman on. Give him some game time because he's just come back from injury. So he needs to get to his match sharpness back. Shah now. Passes it back to Pope. Back to Shah. Correa. Longstaff. Goes on. Goes past the Knott's Forest player. Crosses it into the top of the book. Absolutely great cross by Longstaff there. It was very unfortunate not to uh, get the ball into the box to score. Botman now. To Hall. Passes it to down uh, Drummit, sorry, Dummit. I'll get it right in the end. Dummit now with the pass to Longstaff. Longstaff with the great shot, great save for the goalie. Gordon North Functionate to get the ball in the box. Not as far as in there. Oh, that's the end of that. Let's, right, let's take Almiron off. We'll put on Elliot Anderson and let's take Gordon off. And we'll put Matt Ritchie on. See out this game. Yeah, been a great result for uh, Newcastle this win. We're still top of the league, but Liverpool have a game. And, um, Liverpool and Man United, uh, sorry, Liverpool need to play their game as well. So we will see. Oh, we conceded. That's the clean sheet gone. That is unfortunate. Pope's been playing well today. Like I said, hopefully it's just a consolation goal and we won't need to worry about it too much. On full time, that's it. 4 1, great result there by Newcastle. Unfortunately, lost to Knott's Forest in real life uh, last night, putting the pressure on Eddie Howe, but hopefully, he can turn things around. Like I said, I, I, um, I like Eddie Howe, I think he's a great manager, so I hope he can 
turn it around at Newcastle, but the pressure will be on him now. Talking to managers, um, Man United's manager, uh, Ten Hag, managed to uh, get the players to come back from 2 0 down to beat Aston Villa last night. It was a, a good little match for me to watch. Not at the start, because when it was 2 0 and he gave up on the game, and I was going to watch something else, but I carried on and I'm glad I did because it was a, a great comeback by Man United. Nice to see Rasmus Hoyland score his first um, league goal for Man United. You can tell it really mattered to him. So yeah, so I'm really happy for him. Uh, add him to the shortlist just in case we need a defensive midfielder. I really was hoping the board would give us some extra money, but they're not going to by the looks of it, which is annoying. So it's going to. It might be a very quiet January. To wait and see. See if they'll give me a new contract. Hopefully, I, I mean, I would have thought they would on top of the league and uh, try and get some new physios as well. Talk about your recent press. I want to sign a new contract. I des it's a strong show of commitment if we're able to move forward together. I've only recently agreed a new. Oh yeah, like in the, like a Wally, I completely forgot I signed a new contract for a few months ago. Sorry about that. Brain fart by me. Um, I can't go for him anyway. I haven't got the money at the moment. I might bring in Hulk because I think he'll be even for like half a season before he retires. I think he'll score some wonder goals for us if he does play. I don't think he's good enough to start though. So it would be a good little impact sub I can put on maybe for the last 10, 15 minutes of the game. I think he's a little bit better than say Matt Ritchie for instance. Um, even though Matt Ritchie's a little bit younger. Almiron's set to move to Juventus. Well, that's news to me. I don't think that's going to be happening. Let's see if he'll sign a new... I think he did sign a new... I think I signed a new contract recently, so I don't understand why... Oh, no, maybe I didn't. Right, let's offer him a new contract to keep him here. Yes, I'm happy with all that. Okay, fine, you greedy bugger. You can have that. As long as you sign, that's all that matters to me. Be able to get some new physio, uh, more physios, which will be good because we've had a hell of a lot of injuries. So, uh, let's try and send out a job center alert. New coach, new goalkeeping coach, new fitness coach, uh, oh, and a new physio. Let's see what we get back with that. Crystal Palace next. Away at Crystal Palace, it won't be an easy game, but hopefully we can get there. We've already got a new coach. Um, I must have sent out an alert ages ago. Well, the technical director has brought him in. But yep, yeah, Yamas Uh He's got good. He's got great fitness and great. Oh, an excellent fitness coach. We were uh, very happy with that. We no longer need to search for a fitness coach because we just hired one. So that's good. Um, recent request. I would like next season's transfer budget increased as I worry we won't be able to have the funds to strengthen appropriately. Next season's budget is more than adequate for the club's objectives. I usually go with this one. I worry about the club's uh, reputation and how we appear to the rest of the world when we limit ourselves like this. Surely investing more money is the only way to take the club forward. We disagree in the strongest possible terms. Well, that's great. Thanks. Um, I do think Newcastle do get a decent budget for next season. So, And if we get Champions League football and we win the title, we might get a little bit more as well. So hopefully if we can keep carrying on with the progress we're making, we should be all right to keep getting backed by the owners. Right, let's have a look at the lineup for the game against Crystal Palace. So we've got Pope in goal, Trippier on the right, Lascelles and Dumit in the middle Hall on the left as left back, first time I think I've seen him play left back, he can play there though He's very versatile Lewis Hall uh, he can play left back, defensive midfielder, midfield central and also a um, attacking midfield central as well and also in central defence 
So he is the modern equivalent of probably Phil Neville. He can literally just play anywhere. Uh, let's see if he's as as good as Phil Neville in the wrong in the long run though. So we've got Bruno in the ball winning midfield position, Joe Linson in the middle. These two love working and uh sorry, love playing alongside each other, so that's good. We've got Correa on the right. Anderson is going to be there as the shadow striker. Gordon on the left and Isaac is on the, is up front there. So let's see how we get on. Newcastle with the first highlight. Anderson to Gordon. Gordon hits the post. And he scored in the first 10 minutes. Through to the team. Hopefully that'll help. XG. One, even though one shot on target. 0.8 XG. Bit of a quiet game this one. Which isn't a bad thing. Oh, here we go. Next highlight. Comes from another Crystal Palace goal kick. The intercept. Joe Linton gets the ball but loses it. Crystal Palace in possession now. Playing very defensively, which is what you expect from a Roy Hodgson Crystal Palace team. But he's very good at what he does. We're yet to... Oh, we've got the possession now. Hall to Bruno to Gordon. Gordon passes it into box. What a great pass to Anderson. Anderson with a great ball to Correa. What a great team goal that was. Started by the pass by, I think it was Gordon. Um, and then Anderson floated the ball into the box. And Correa, signing of the season so far, slotted the ball in to the goal. Bruno with the ball to Joe Lint. Joe Lint with a blaster of a shot. Hits the goalkeeper and comes off for a corner. Trippier now with the throw in. Loses it. Oh, great save by Pope there. Got a bit worried then. Dumb it now. Pass to Gordon. Gordon back to Hall. To Bruno. Gordon to Hall. Now to dumb it. Can we drive this forward? We seem to be passing it a bit sideways and backwards. Let's drive this ball forward. Lazelles does that. Is that now? He's up with a great goal set up by, with a lovely little pass by Joe Linton, thanks to the initial forward pass by Jamal Lasell. So another great goal there. The Geordie fans will be very happy. Crystal Palace in possession now. Can they get a goal before half time? Gordon there with the missed missed shot. Let's see what the second half brings us. Hopefully just the same as the first half. But as long as we keep on winning. Um, Hall doesn't seem to be doing very well. I'm going to try and encourage. No, fire up. No, fire up. See if that will help in some way. I thought it, oh no. He went from a 6.6 .6 to a 6.5 there. Maybe, maybe that's all. Uh, didn't help at all. Trippier with the cross and uh, with the free kick, sorry, missed by the header. Lazelles now. Trippier with the great, well, I was going to say a good cross to Joe Lynn, but didn't, no, it wasn't a good cross at all. Crystal Palace now with the goal kick. They are in possession. Michael Olis is uh, a player I wouldn't mind signing for Newcastle. And we can see some who, a goal by Eddard. Let's take off Gordon. He looks a bit tired. Take off Gordon. But 
Harvey Barnes on. Take off Korea. Put Matt Riddle on. And we'll leave that for now. Hopefully we can uh, keep this game 2-1 or extend the lead. The worst thing we can do is concede. Bruno now to Lazales. Lazales to Trippier. Trippier with the back pass to Pope now. Back to Lazales. To Bruno. To Anderson. What a great pass by Anderson. Isaac. Oh, it was a lovely little goal. Oh, here we go. Maybe Isaac was offside. I think he, he um, didn't time his run properly. But we'll see. Nah, goal disallowed. I thought that. Take off for Hall. Not doing very well and also looks tired as well. We haven't got. Oh, we have. Bottom one. Put Bottom in. And then let's take off Bruno and put long stuff on. And we'll take Joe Linton off. And we can't take Joe Linton off because we haven't got any materials. We'll leave it like that for now. Crystal Palace with a free kick. Now, oh, that was a great. Oh, my God. We were very, very lucky not to concede them. Let's uh, take Trippier off and put Libramento on. Libramento on. Oh, what a lovely little pass that was then. Some techers there. Barnes now driving forward. Passes it. Oh, close. Close to scoring another goal there. We managed to get the 2 1 win. I was, we were very lucky at the end that the Crystal Palace didn't score that second goal, but I'm very happy. Neck and neck now on games played. Well, Liverpool have always got a game uh, ahead of us, but hopefully that will sort itself out. Man City have got two games. So if Man City get, say, the maximum wins out of the two extra games, 38, they're around here. So we've got to be aware of them. They sometimes start the season a little bit late and then there's been times where they've been like sixth or seventh in the league and then gone on a massive run and then up winning the title so we're not going to just consider them um, a team not to worry about this season but I think the main teams for, for us to worry about is these three teams here Manchester United Liverpool and Arsenal yeah great result just save the game If any, uh, hello to any uh, people in the Twitch, tra uh, Twitch chat that's watching. I'd appreciate you taking the time to watch me. Jacob Murphy injured for four weeks. I think he's out on loan anyway. So, no loss to us. Yeah, West Ham. Uh, do they have an option to buy him? No, I think it's just a loan. Oh, they do. After 20 games played, they sign him for 7.25. He's doing very well at the moment. I'm just going to praise his loan spell. Okay, maybe he's not doing as well as I thought. He's doing well in, when it comes to training. He's had a few attribute boosted. And he has scored five goals in 17 games, so I think he's been doing very well. So, yeah, hopefully he'll play another six games and sign for West Ham. Joe Linton signed a new contract. I'm very happy. Signed a new goalkeeping coach. He is. Oh, sorry. I just remembered. I need to change this to full scale mode. There we go. Just change that. Sorry about that. <laughs> Forgot to do that. When I play offline, I just like to have it in Windows mode. But I know um, most people watching prefer prefer it to be in full mode. So I've just swatched that there. So just put that on for you, so uh, yeah. So uh, yeah, Joel Batts comes in, very good goalkeeping coach, used to career stats. No, done it again. Milestones, he, uh, he was a manager at one point, so um. He ended up being an assistant manager at PSG for a few years in the 90s. Then he went on to manage Chat Narrow, a team I've actually um, had a very successful career.
career up when I did a youth uh, academy challenge. So uh, they're a very good team. And then he went on to be a goalkeeping coach for Lyon, a uh, team called CF Montreal, now CF Montreal, um, and now Newcastle. So yeah, bit of an obscure one in a way, but always good to see. No longer need a goalkeeping coach, so we just go back. The games are coming thick and fast now. Usually does on the festive period. We usually have a game every couple of days, but I'm not complaining. Hopefully we've got enough players uh, to do that. Deli Ali, player whose contract expires in six months. We might sign him as a novelty signing, as I am a fan of Deli Ali, and I really respect him for talking about his mental health problems and the abuse he went through. So I tend to just try and sign him in every save I do now. I can't sign him in my People Rover save because um, he would never come to the Scottish non-leagues. Um, you can get him for a few English non-league teams after a while if you've got a decent wage budget to sign him. But Because um, I did sign him for Barnet, but that was three season in. I was already in League 2, I think, at that point. But I've seen, I've seen people managing teams like Boston United and sign one of free transfers so it can be done but yeah I do tend to like signing Deli Ali even if he doesn't play just uh, you know just like a novelty signing plus it is like a, a good look a good look charm like a mascot for us um, to answer your question WLFGHST um, I don't have a console, so I wouldn't know. I assume, as long I assume it does support keyboard and mouse. I'll have a quick look for you. Uh, going to Google. So you want to know? Uh, does okay. So if I type in does FM PS Five version support oh, mouse and keyboard? So uh, somebody has already asked that. Um, yes, Bradley. So somebody asked it before and Football Manager posted back with, yes, PS5 is mouse and keyboard compatible. So yeah, so hopefully, um, yeah, let me just reply to this in case you don't hear it. But um, oh, yeah, yeah, it does. So there you go. So hopefully I've about help helped you there today. So, but thank you for joining the stream. Feel free to ask any other questions that you need. I'm happy to help if I can. Uh, let's get back onto the save. So we're after Sam Murray. I don't think he's good enough. So I'll just get rid of that. Aston Villa next. That'll be a, a tough game. Aston Villa in real life going through a bit of a a blip at the moment, but hopefully they'll come back from it and. Uh, it was nice to have a team from the West Midlands which is the area I'm from it's nice to have a West Midlands team doing well in the Premiership so that's good to see we're um, you know the Wolves are doing okay as well they won the other day as well so it's nice to see the two West Midlands teams in the Premiership doing relatively well this season um, Birmingham City FC not doing very well under Wayne Rooney I don't understand why Birmingham City got rid of their current manager to bring him in in the first place because they were fifth in the league at the time when he when he was in charge. They got rid of him and put in Rooney. Now they're not nineteenth, but Birmingham have never been Birmingham over the years. Their owners have not been very good with things like that. I remember when they got rid of I can't remember who the manager was and they brought in Gianfranco Zola and he didn't. And then they went from being a top six team in the championship to nearly getting relegated. And then they hired Harry Redner who basically near enough crippled them financially by just bringing all these players in in January um, they only just stayed up and then he left and they had all these players on big contracts and they spent a lot of money and it took him years to get back to a certain level so um, and that was due to probably the management of the uh, the manager before before uh, Rooney who did they who did they get rid of actually um, let me just check. 
previous Birmingham City managers. So, list of Birmingham City managers. Um, I remember Barry Fry at Birmingham City in the 90s. He was always good. Uh, Alex McLeish. There is a list of managers. I know, I've gone the wrong way, and I? No, I haven't. Um, sorry, just me going off on a tangent, just while I'm at it. Yeah, so they got rid of Gary Rowett, who was doing relatively well for them, and they brought in Frank, uh, Gianfranco Zola in 2017, 16, sorry. And, uh, yeah, he didn't do very well. And then Harry Redknapp coming in, and he didn't do... He did better than Zola, but obviously didn't do that well. Um, and then over the years, they've had a manager after manager um, I think Lee, Lee well we didn't do very well either yeah John Eustace, Eustace sorry if that's pronounced his name wrong he was doing very well and uh, they got rid of him and Wayne Rooney has done absolutely terrible so far so yeah a lot of mismanagement I've got a soft spot for Birmingham City FC because my old housemate Colin used to be a massive Birmingham City fan and um he was a really nice bloke, Colin, and I unfortunately um, he unfortunately died last year. So um, I always keep an eye on them. Out of respect towards him. A um, few teams after and any 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 Anwu any Anwu. There's probably several ways you can pronounce that name. Um, what is he transfer listed somehow? No, he's not transfer listed, so I don't understand why people are going for him. But if uh, send him out on loan, but no, I won't be selling him. There's no point trying that one. Longstaff, Sean Longstaff. I think Sean Longstaff was transfer listed um, previously. Wasn't he? Was he? Yeah, so he's transfer listed. We're only getting loan offers, though. I don't want to. I don't want to sell him if I can help it. Um, being um being homegrown and everything, so I don't want to loan him out. I mean, I mean, they're decent enough offers. Um, he wants to leave though, don't he? He wants first team football, so yeah, we'll just accept it. We're gonna lose some money. I mean, he's wait, he's rated at eight million, but they're only offering us at the most four point seven. But I'll have to, you know, if it'll help, it'll shift into the wage budget because the wage budget is a, is a bit rubbish at the moment. Mavadidi's doing very well at the moment in training. And then obviously that. So let's try and loan him out, get some first team football. Hopefully he'll do well. Might be an option for us in the first team and after after a season or two if he carries on. Elliot Anderson gets the is named the December Young Player of the Year. So well done to, um, of the month, sorry, of the month of December. So well done to him. We get the golden month from Harvey Barnes. Well done, Harvey Barnes. I'm second in the manager of the month. We should send Josh Donaldson on loan. Yes, I totally agree. Um, Darren, yeah, we'll send them both on loan. I would recommend increasing Gary Bloom's asking price from. Okay, that's fine. I think he's rubbish. So we're just going to release him as well. Uh, very pleased and recently to see that the overall character of the squad as has a positive influence on Max Thompson. Well that's good. Hope that'll help with his progress. I've been impressed with the progress of Harvey Barnes has made in training recently. We should be playing, paying close attention to his development. So we'll just give him a little praise of his training development. There we go. Um the individual training plan laid out for Miguel Almiron has worked a treat and he's coming along night tremendously so we'll also Praise his training. There we go. Always gives their morale a little boost, means they'll play better. Paul Dummett has been at the club a long time now and has recently stepped up to become a highly influential player. Well, that's annoying because I wanted to try and get rid of him. I'm still going to get rid of him, but it is going to cause a lot of. It's going to cause a. A bit of a hopefully not going to cause a mutiny in the locker room, but we will see. 
don't get me wrong he's a decent player but he's just not good enough for the squad I'm trying to build at Newcastle at the moment player that Tino Libramento has been developing recently looks like he should become a key player for us and perhaps better than Kieran Trippier well in the long run he is probably the successor of Trippier even though his set pieces aren't obviously the same as Trippier but we're never we're gonna we're very rarely gonna find a right back as good as Trippier when it comes to things like that. Uh, I'm increasing the opinion that Elliot Anderson has potential to become a key player at the club. Well, that's another good sign. Anderson, a great player. Let's offer him a new contract. Keep him happy at the club. Keep him there for five years as well. Let's do the same with Libramento if we can. Yes, we can. Always good to reward players that are doing well in training and at the club in general playing. Ah, board block that. Yeah, well, obviously, because I haven't got any money. So that, that's, that's understandable. I want the owner to if and give me some more money. He seems like a decent player for the uh, under 21s. Probably won't develop him too too much, but at least it will help the the under 21s and under 18 squad, if need be. Uh, done. Uh, sorry, Burn, Dan Byrne and Joe Wilcox still injured. The board are job security secure. To summarise the board are very pleased with your overall leadership of the team. Why is it only a B? Um, the board are disappointed with the team's recent results. Hold on a second. I won the last two games. I mean, I know I lost. I mean, you think about it. I won one, two, three, four, five, six. So I won six out of nine games there. I think that's pretty good. I mean, I mean, I, I think they're asking a bit too much for me really to moan about that the board looking forward to seeing how you perform in the transfer market well give me the bloody money and then I will perform for you tactic C plus happy with the impact of the wing play style has had in recent matches they are particularly pleased in the quality of pressing on display when the style is in use well, that's good to know um, yeah I'm a bit annoyed by that the fans are just as well, the fans are happy with pleased with the work the supporters are looking forward to seeing how well perform on the pitch. Um, the fans are eager to see how we will do in the transfer window. Again, I need the money. Uh, the fans are happy with the impact the 41114 DM wide. Uh, as, 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 I can never get that word, so I'm not even going to pronounce it right. Uh, striker formation has had in recent times. They uh, are particularly pleased with the quality of press and display with, when this style is in use. Well, that's good. So all good things to take on board the uh, dressing room atmosphere is very good at the moment manager support is very good at the moment so that's good always good to feel like you're doing the right thing right so team for the game against Aston Villa is as always Pope in goal Livramento on the right Shah and Botman in the middle so Botman comes back into the team um, Target on the left Hall in the middle with Longstaff Correa on the right, Almiron in the middle, Gordon on the left, and Wilson takes. Uh, Wilson is up front in this game, so we'll see. Nearly gets an instant result. Don't want to be doing that. Before I carry on, so the aim really is to play until about. Probably play until about half three, four o'clock. Quite enjoying the save, so. No, there might be times where it go where I'll go quiet because I think I'll probably run out of things to talk about because I'm I'm essentially talking to myself. So um, yeah, please don't take offence to that. But yeah, let's just see how we get on as the save goes on. Hopefully, I want to try and at least get tran uh, January done by the end of this stream, so we can bring in some new faces into the club. I mean, we've got a fairly good settled first team we just need a few quality additions I feel like we need another striker Wilson's not good enough I'm going to look to try and get rid of him in the in January I think um, we're a bit sure I think we need a quality centre back if I'm honest with you 
maybe an upgrade on target but doesn't need to be necessary this season um, probably a good maybe a, a, an, up, an upgrade on Longstaff in the central midfield because we shouldn't really be playing him if we can help it even though he's been doing alright when called upon Almer on there with the goal but I think it's going to be disallowed see what VAR says oh sorry Wilson with the goal goal awarded Callum Wilson oh no out Oh yeah, I got confused then. Sorry. When I saw Wilson there, I thought it meant Wilson scored, but yeah, Wilson with the assist, so that's good. At least he's uh, at least he's contributing this game. But yeah, I think like we're strong enough in midfield at least when it comes to the the these positions here, these three positions here. We could we are strong in the midfield when Bruno and Joe Linton is playing. Um and then I think we just need a little bit I think I just don't know if Wilson's good enough Almer on there with the goal assist by target but yeah we'll see usually with squad building it takes a while and you're not always going to get the players in all in the same window that you would like and you're not going to shift all the players that you want to shift in the same window so sometimes you just got to make do with what you got so yeah long stuff now Oh, okay, that didn't lead to anything. Pointless uh, highlight there. Career's not playing very well in this first half. Let's see if I can encourage him. Oh, Shah there with the injury. We've only got Dummett in there. See, that's what I'm saying. I think we need one or two, either in January or in the summer. We need to do. We need to upgrade the central defence. Almer, um, sorry, let's give Korea a bit of encouragement. Because the team's playing well, he just doesn't seem to be doing very well, and it's gone even worse now after I encouraged him. I'll take him off in a bit, I think. It's just not his day. Gordon comes off. Joe Linton comes on. We'll take Korea off because he's a bit knackered now anyway, so we'll put Elliot Anderson on the right. Villa now with the corner. Wilson there with the header out. Doing his bit in defence. Oh, Villa nearly scored there. Right, let's take off. Oh no, we can't take any more players off. We've just got to make do now. Target with the corner. Elliot Anderson now with the ball. See what he can do to Hall. Plays it forward to target. Target pushes forward now. Would he cross it in? Is he going to pass it in? Oh, okay. That was a bit of a weird one. But Almeron with the blaster there with the goal. Almeron scores a hat-trick today. Star player. Target with two assists as well. Hello Dan the play plays. Um that is my friend Dan, big Dan. I'm alright, buddy. I hope you're alright as well. Looking forward to seeing uh, Dan the Man at New Year's Eve. Sorry I forgot to let you know Dan about the stream. I completely forgot, sorry. 3 1 win there, very good. Now five points clear of Man United, um, seven points clear of Liverpool, and they've got a game in hand. But we're starting to get a bit of a gap here, which is good. It means we can rotate probably a little bit more, especially now with Shah's injured. We definitely need to probably prioritise getting a centre back over anything else now in the January transfer window, depending on how much money if we get any. By the looks of it, we're not going to get any, even though. Then again, we've only got 18 million in the bank. I need the uh, the owners to put some money into the club. Yeah, basically, football manager is it's like a simulation game. You're in control of a football team, and then you decide who to buy, who to sell. You're essentially like it's the equivalent of being like a real life football manager to a point. Uh, but yeah. Got 
got to have a look and see how Lewis Marley was doing then. Lewis Marley comes off the bench, shows some brief glimpse of quality. Is he playing much? He's not playing much, is he? They keep saying he comes off the bench, but they did. They said that last time, but he's only played one. That's really confusing. I can't recall him though, so that's annoying. Especially with it being January now. Yeah, so basically you pick the team and then you you play the game and then it's just it's just random whether you win or lose depending on the quality of players that you've got in the team depending on what formation tactics you use uh, depending on the quality of the opposition that you're playing basically just like real life football manager like a real life football manager yeah so you've got that really but yeah um we playing next? I think it was Sheffield Wednesday. No, I don't want to sell him. Go away. Four of your players were selected in the English Premier League team of the week, including Tino Libramento, Matthew Target, and Miguel Almoron. So, who was the other one? Livermento, Target, Almiron and Isaac. There you go. Yeah, so you, so you gradually upgrade your squad by bringing in better players. Um, yeah, no, I know. No, I know it's not... It's probably not the type of game you would look into playing. So, yeah, so I'm trying to explain it to you. Um, but, yeah, you basically just buy players. It's like It's like playing top trumps, really, but you're just constantly trying to get better players in, really. Um, but yeah, it's it's one then. But yeah, you, you know, for, feel free to watch Dan and stuff like that. And uh, you never know, I might convert you into a football manager player, uh, football manager fan. Yeah, <laughs> uh, probably not there. Uh, car. Yeah, so we've got Sheffield Wednesday next in the FA Cup. Hopefully we can do well. No, I know you don't like football, mate. I oh, know, I oh, know. Um, so, yeah, I'll I'll, uh, I'll I'll stream some Batman or some Spider-Man at some point because I, I, you know how rubbish I am at them, so that'll entertain you for all the wrong reasons. Um, but, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll like I said, once I get used to playing GTA roleplay, I'm going to start streaming a bit more of that, so... I know you. I know you play GTA. You're a lot better at it than I am. So yeah, so uh, you might enjoy that. But no, I appreciate you contributing into the chat, buddy. I do appreciate, it, man. I do appreciate you following me on here as well. So much appreciated. Um, bring in former Man United assistant manager and uh, Man City assistant manager Brian Kidd. Um. Else worth bringing in as well, just to see. Maybe it's to see. Only because his technical is 20, so I don't think we've got the space for him. No, we haven't. We'll leave it. We haven't got the space for Brian Kidd, but I think he'll be better than our uh, current coaches. No, I know, I know. No, I know what you mean. I know, I know. Um, no, I just, I'm probably going to just play different games anyway, just. Just because I just just to give me other things to play, so yeah, I bought about ten different games about three months ago and never got around to playing it. Like I played the, I bought all the Witchers and then only played the first one and got a little bit bored of it. And I got Assassin's Creed Origins and there's a few other games as well that I've bought. A few of the Hitman games, so I've, I've played Hitman before. So I might stream a bit of Hitman as well, just to give me other stuff to stream and bring in different people to my channel so yeah we'll see we'll see how it goes but at the moment I'm just going to concentrate on football manager and GTA stuff and then see how I get on but uh, yeah cheers for contributing mate I do appreciate it oh uh, yeah um, a few more offers to dumb it mostly loans no I don't know why these people keep trying to go for him these clubs I don't want to sell him Right, let's get him on a new contract that will hopefully deter people going for him. Yeah, so we've had a few loan offers for uh, Navadidi. 
that's a unique team. I don't, I've never seen them before. Don Brosco. Where are they? Oh, okay. Republic of Congo. Nice logo though. I like that logo. Uh, I think we're getting a lot of offers from. I know South End United, so they're an English club. But then other than that, I know it's two English clubs. That's good. So we've had. I'm gonna get rid of that one. Get rid of that one. I'd rather play. I'd rather have been playing in the in the English leagues than in uh, in Congo just because the quality of position would probably be better no offence to the League of Congo alright oh, okay cheers Dan I'll have a look um, when I come off the I'll, I'll have a look when I come off the stream um, and yeah, if it's important, let me know and I'll quickly have a look on my phone. But yeah, no, cheers, 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 Dan. Uh, I'll have a look in a second. Where can you? Send through on loan, so we'll just see how he gets on there. Oh okay. Yeah, cheers Dan. Um yeah, I'll have a look at that when I when I come offline. Like you said, it'd be something new for me to play, so yeah. I'll have a look at that, buddy. But yeah, cheers. Cheers to let me know. Yeah, don't worry, Dan. Um cheers for contributing and that and uh I'll leave you to to it if you're coming off. But yeah, have a nice um have a nice rest of your day, buddy, and I'll like I said, look forward to seeing you and the rest of the gang on New Year's Eve. He's a he's a good egg, Dan. He's a good lad. Um gone for Malassia to provide cover on a wing back. Oh, bit expensive though, isn't it? Um I don't think he's much of an upgrade, if I'm honest with you. But he is young, he might get better. We'll see. It's a loan. We can always cancel it, hopefully. Got a few offers for Longstar. Not as much money up front, but we'll just accept it anyway. The more options we give him, the more chance he's got of going. So hopefully we're bringing in a little bit of money in January so we can try and strengthen somewhere, but we're going to have to really try and be bargain hunting. new physios I think so we'll just go for a few of these got two spaces so we'll just go for these I do think I think we'll go for a few of these other 20s because they'll probably be a little bit of an upgrade uh, we'll go for them as well on the physios that we've already got so cause that's what you that's what you want to do essentially for people who are new to football manager you, you're looking to improve uh, uh, everywhere you can whether it's your playing staff or your coaching staff so you're always looking to upgrade every chance you get all the facilities all the coaching in general as well at the moment i can't get the board to i think the board have already agreed quite a bit actually to be honest but um yeah not much else really Let's see if i can get some recruitment consultants i won't bother with sports scientists uh under 21's performance assistance and we'll try and improve the starting wage Deal. Fortunately, you initially uh, okay. So we're just gonna get. I think we're just gonna get rid of Carius. We'll look to promote one of the goalkeepers from the reserves under twenty ones to play emergency backup, basically. Give them a couple of games in the cup games. So uh, yeah. So um, this is my YouTube channel. Um, if, hold on. Let me just expand it so people see so I'll just do that and then we'll just do that uh, expand it a bit more so let me just see how that looks on twitch at the moment so people can see you know it needs to be a bit bigger bear with us sorry I'm all new to this so yeah so that's but yeah that's um 
So yeah, so this is my YouTube channel. I recently, just to see how it would go, yesterday, even though it started today, I picked my first Twitch stream of Newcastle save on here. I look to promote it through this. I'll just quickly show you here. So we go into YouTube Studio and then we go into this one here called content and hold on two seconds let me go back so i've got 26 subscribers so put that into context i had before i started this stream on twitch i had i think it was seven um subscribers and most of them were my friends who join who oh, subscribed a couple of days ago or people i've spoken to on the side games forums and then what i did because i watched this video on youtube about increasing your subscribers so if you go here um and then you go to promotions so yeah so this is done really well for me um i've had in the last what well, since when did i start the stream about in the last hour I've had five new subscribers and I've had quite a few views and that's so yeah I'm really impressed by that and I only I only put a max budget of ten pounds because it was simply just to see how I get along with it um, and the the guy I watched on the video of he basically um, told you how to um, it's, it's to basically what he said was target countries that have a low cpm and i can't remember what cpm means but um and it's worked to treat because like i said the campaign only started today and i've already i've got 26 subscribers i had seven of, as of about two hours ago now i'm not saying any of them are going to be long-term subscribers they might just initially sign up and not particularly like it but there will be a few that stay hopefully because they like the content um i'm planning to basically start um like i said already i'm planning to um upload my twitch stream that i do every every day onto youtube as a video for people to watch so if there's any videos that end up disappearing off twitch and you want to watch them please go on to uh my youtube channel which is the same name as the twitch channel lutra fm and uh, yeah so um I also obviously planning to do this Everton save as well, which will just be um, episodes of half an hour each, and I will do that. But I need to learn a bit more about video editing before I do that. So yeah, but really good. I'm really happy with that. Right, let's get this back to the original size. So I'll keep it out of the way. So there. So we'll just put that there. Sorry about that if you're generally just here to watch me play Football Manager, but I thought it was quite interesting just to explain. And I was quite excited about what I just saw because I wasn't expecting it. I thought it was... When you watch these YouTube videos about increasing your, your views and your subscribers, you kind of just look at it in a, in a way and you kind of don't believe them because um, you just think, yeah, yeah, you know, you're just a con just to create content, really. Uh, on their side but yeah it's working very well at the moment it'll be interesting to see how many subscribers i get by the end of it i've just got to do my part though by keep producing content and the rest will happen naturally now in the long run i would like to make some money doing this even if it's like a part-time money type of part-time job thing so i can make money doing stuff that i like to do um on top of the other things that i do i also sell clothes on ebay and stuff like that so yeah so i like i like to work for myself i don't particularly want to work for somebody else doing the nine to five slog that people do now, i know people i know some people have to do that obviously um but yeah I, i'd rather do things like this but yeah quite excited um to see how this goes it's like i said it's nice to, to see people subscribing to it so thank you to my subscribers that subscribe to twitch and youtube i really do appreciate it um right let's get on with this now let's crack on so brian kidd we need to make space for brian kidd now we've got a ridiculously high amount of goalkeeping coaches i i might get rid of one of them if they're not very good i mean them them two are okay he's really good 
he's really good so we could probably upgrade the goalkeepers as well eventually but we'll get rid of him so goodbye Shawan Jalal I appreciate you all the time at the club but your time is up and we're bringing in experienced former former Manchester United um, staff legend Brian Kidd who helped Alex Ferguson bring uh, a lot of success in the early 90s and then he went on to be assistant manager for Pep Guardiola I think let me just check milestones yeah milestones so yes he was um he's had a decent career really so he's a, he was assistant so he was basically let's go back to the beginning so he was manager at Barrow then he went to the assistant manager at Swindon Town then he went to the assistant manager at Preston and then manager for a bit um but it was only for a few months and then he went on to go to Manchester United first as an under 18 coach and then later on as their assistant manager for seven years and then he went on to have a career as a manager at first at, oh at, sorry only at Blackburn and then he went on to become Leeds United under 18 manager um, and then coach and then he was England assistant manager I assume that was when maybe Steve McLaren was there I could be wrong or or it was was it when Capello was there it might have been when Capello was there um, then a few years later after that he, he was out of the game for a few years and he went on to coach at Sheffield United and then become their assistant manager then he went on to be assistant manager at Portsmouth and then he went um, a very brave decision for him to go to Manchester City after being such a, a well loved figure at Man United but yeah, he went on to become under-18 coach at Man City and then assistant manager there, then caretaker manager and then coach. So he was just a coach under Pep Guardiola, but um, but definitely somebody that Pep Guardiola probably came to for advice. Um, he is 74, so we probably won't be in the game much longer, but we'll make the most of his expertise while we can and his experience. Right, so... We've got De Gea in goal. We've got Libramento on the right. Botman in the middle with Byrne, who's still a little bit... Uh, in, well, he's a bit recovering from injury still, but well enough to play. Hall on the left. Longstaff in the middle with Wilcock. Uh, Courier on the right. Anderson in the middle. Barnes on the left. And Wilson up front. This feels like a very um, depleted first team. But we'll see how we go uh, it's the FA Cup so that's probably the reason actually to be honest it automatically probably rotates the players because actually if you have a look on the subs bench we've got we've got Trippier Bruno and Isaac and then we could have picked these two as these these as well but they probably just need to be rested so that's fine I'm happy with that right then Wilcock is lacking the match sharpness and may struggle to see out the game well that is understandable um Done so oh, I did. Oh, shit. Thought I did something wrong there. Right, so uh, I can't. But yeah, got four people in the Twitch chat now. Nice to speak to. You. Nice to see some people in here. Um, hello to you all. Let me know what you got for Christmas uh, in the chat. Be nice to see if people got some decent stuff like I said earlier in the stream I managed to my mom got me a pair of Nike Air Jordans um, and I absolutely love them I'm only going to wear them for special occasions because anybody that buys any decent pair of Nikes they literally just don't want to get them scuffed or anything so yeah they'll be first time I'll wear them is New, my, uh, New Year's Eve when I go round to my friends for New Year's Eve party so that will be the first time I'll wear them and then after that, I probably won't wear them until my birthday in June. So, yeah. Um, so, I do a lot of walking. So, I've got a pair of walking shoes from Carrymore. They're the ones I wear all the time. And um, and then I wear... I've got Now, I've got these Nikes that I wear for special occasions when I'm going out and stuff. Oh, Chris... Oh, that's not good. That's not a good start. I'm going to demand more. We shouldn't be losing to Sheffield Wednesday. No offence to Sheffield Wednesday fans. But we should not be losing to them. Hopefully it's just a blip in the matrix, as I say. Courier now with the cross. 
burn there with the cross. We're so far unable to um, score against Sheffield Wednesday. We're trying to build up the play slowly here by the looks of it. Barnes now to burn. And he, is he going to carry on? No, passing it to Barnes. Barnes with the cross. Sorry, with the pass. Great goal by the Alan Wilson. Nice little tap in there. All right, let's encourage the players. Barnes now. Sorry, Burn to Barnes. I apologise. I thought it was Barnes, but it was Burn. Barnes now to Hall. Anderson to Longstaff. Longstaff, is he going to line up for a shot? No, he's not. Passes it out. Livramento now. Undecided what he was going to do there. R nearly ran into the opposition defence. Libramento now, is he going to cross it in? Passes it in. Great little goal by Harvey Barnes. Literally identical to the first goal we scored. But yeah, back to normal service, hopefully. Hopefully we will not lose to Sheffield Wednesday. Uh, Ryan Cassidy might get some game time in a bit in this game. As I want to rest Isaac if possible. If I'm still winning, say like 2 or 3-1. Might put him on just to give him some extra, just give him some confidence, really, just to give him some game time in the uh, in the cup. You never know, he might score. He's not he's not good enough for the first team. He, he's only got two stars or something like that. But it was just a player that I took a chance on, really, because of uh, him being decent in previous foot managers. Um, he probably won't stay after this season. I'll probably get. I'll probably just release him or just sell him. Hopefully he'll go somewhere else and he can carry on his trade. Oh, should have done better than that. We do with another goal just to calm my nerves a bit, really, to be honest, because I'm because it's the FA Cup, anything can happen. Oh, great save by their goalkeeper to deny us. Barnes now. Oh, okay, fair enough. Oh. Apologise there if you heard me burping. Um, Anderson now with the cross. Saved by their goalkeeper. So, yeah, so what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and get better at um, GTA roleplay because there's so many things you've got to learn um, on these servers. So, anybody, people who are new to GTA roleplay, it's basically you, you're playing GTA 5 but it's under a roleplay server so what that means is um, some are stricter than others but you basically you can't kill anybody or hurt them or anything like that um, you've got to play like a law abiding citizen but you've got to play it as a character so are oh, they going to score oh thank god for that um, but yeah they, you play as a law abiding citizen but you play as a character and you can also have jobs in the game you can either be in a gang for instance where you can be part of the police or um, just all sorts of things like that really um, but yeah like I said I I am only aware of it because of the fact is I watch um, quite a lot of YouTubers um, shout out to uh, not that he needs a shout out from me but shout out to Dr Benji who has done a him and, and the people that he works with did a great job of creating a world in GTA where he plays a character called Jack Space um, and he basically has a role as a solicitor there um, but there's a lot of funny shenanigans he started off um, just randomly talking to people and made some friends and there's some great characters that have been in the, in the game in there uh, in his stream I recommend you take a look if you go onto Dr. Benji's YouTube channel and look for Jack Space content. If you start from the beginning, I would recommend it. You will find it very entertaining. Um, sometimes it's a bit chaotic and that, but as it's gotten on, it's he's got better at better at uh, producing it. And um, I hope one day he'll go back to doing it a bit more of it. He does do it on stream, but he does it. Um, he does play it, but he plays it offline. So, uh, 
yeah hopefully it'll go back to it but yeah anyway back to the game sorry um callum wilson scores from the penalty so that's that then so um even though he's due he could get a hat trick i'm going to take wilson off and i'm going to put ryan cassidy on the last 10 minutes as i said But yeah, going back to that YouTube thing, um, you basically need, I think, I think you need like a thousand subscribers and you need something else. I think it's like 400 hours of people watching your content for you to then be able to be monetized. There's people that can get monetized very quickly depending on how well received their content is. Mine's quite niche, but sometimes niche does do well so yeah so um like i said i'm mostly doing this as a way of entertaining myself um keeping me interested in playing football manager because i do struggle sometimes to keep saves going because i just lose the enthusiasm um so yeah this is this helps me keep with certain saves and not just give up after a while because i'm getting bored and also it'll give me ideas to do new saves as well so anybody in the twitch chat or on the youtube comments if you have any interesting football manager saves that you think would be good to do as a twitch stream or as a youtube series then please let me know because i'm always um, open to suggestions but yeah like i said I'm, uh, it's mostly just doing this and also just a uh, get to know some people who like playing the game like me and talking to them about it and um, in the long run like I said I'm not denying that I wouldn't mind making money I'm not going to say oh, I'm not doing this for the money because anybody that does most people that do YouTube content they obviously do it because they, they're passionate about what they, they like to do to do but they also want to make money from it because the, the goal that we all want is to make money doing stuff that we like to do that's what everybody says it's doing something that you enjoy to do whether it's doing content creation or you might just enjoy doing something else like i don't know creating um creating greeting cards or um adapting clothes like uh, adjusting clothes and putting your own stamp on it like putting embroidery on jeans i know somebody does that um yeah so Try and do what you're passionate about, even if it's not necessarily working for yourself. And I think that is the, um, the recipe for success in life. Like I said, at the moment, I'm in a very good place. I've got a very good friend circle. I've got um, a brilliant, lovely, supportive girlfriend who has been nothing, like I said, nothing but supportive about me doing this and stuff like that. So, yeah, so I'm very lucky in life at the moment. The only thing is not doing well at the moment is the financial side of things but then there's a lot of people that are worse off than me i'm very lucky to have um a bit of money aside savings wise and also supportive parents that are there for me and stuff like that so there's a lot of people worse off than me so i'm not complaining but like i just want to get that side of things sorted so then hopefully that's like i said i'll be living a happy life then but that will come with time um i'm just looking at things i could possibly do to make extra money i love um animals especially dogs so i'm thinking of next uh in 2024 starting my own little small business walking dogs for a living um even if it doesn't make me much money but it's just it's it's all a little part-time income basically um he's a very good player david martinez i've had him in previous saves for uh, Villarreal but we cannot offer him a decent contract that is annoying but I'm going to add him to the shortlist and hopefully I can sign him in a bit when we get some money in hopefully let's see if I can sell no no transfer clauses to sell that's annoying as well um, yeah so like I said there's little businesses I'm thinking of thinking of trying to get better at making logos and thumbnails and things like that for my own content but then also maybe be able to do that for small businesses and things like that to make a bit of extra money doing that um and stuff like that really like i said just trying to think outside the box as much as possible 
because if you can if you can be good at a, a few things and make money from it then your life will be good because every day will be different so it won't it won't feel as boring so like sometime um after when once january the first is is done i will be going around charity shops because i get stock from charity shops from my ebay shop and i like to go around to different a few different towns every day and um do that and uh yeah let's quickly go back to this before i carry on long staff has joined aston villa on loan to the end of the season so we'll we've got a 4.1 future fee they will give us a monthly fee of 82 grand and an unused monthly fee of 106 grand they're paying 70 percent of his wage um mandatory future fee is 4.1 and in installments of 3.7 so actually in the end that worked out that was actually a really good deal for him and that means we can shift hopefully some of this now into the wage budget oh, still not where we want it to be we're very we're massively over the wage budget obviously because we recently signed them players to renew contracts as well so that probably didn't help either but there's not much we can do about it I wonder if I can sell actually I don't know if I want to sell Callum Wilson now because he's, he's actually in form at the moment and uh, I think I will sell him he's 31 so if I'm going to sell him it's going to be now maximise on him while he's in form Man United want him on loan but he's not. they're not going to get him on loan they can they can uh, jog on with that one um, yeah anyway I'll talk about stuff about me and what I want to do like uh, another time but yeah I just thought it'd be interesting to talk a bit more about myself a little bit but not go on too much about it take away from the focus from this so let's get back on with this oh Tenali's injured again I don't know what that is I think I've got an editor file that, that does that language um, as an injury I've no idea if anybody can translate that let me know what that means So, um, hello, Kufard's Law, um, Jaw, Law, Jaw, sorry, Law, Jaw, sorry, I apologise. Um, yeah, um, I've only just seen your message, sorry. Um, Wrexham stream probably would be pretty good, to be honest. Um, I'll just quickly show you what formation I'm using. So, yeah, that's the formation I'm using. It's a, uh, it's one I've downloaded, basically, but it basically works out at 411 free one um, they're a bit all over the place when it comes to symmetry so yeah but it works well as far as I can see um, oh okay cheers Dan I appreciate that mate yeah I mean I'll drop you the if I remember I'll drop you a message to let you know anyway but yeah no cheers for letting me know about that um, but yeah Rexon going back to your question Rexon would probably be uh, a decent save when it comes to Twitch and that maybe even l limit myself to only signing Welsh players I suppose try and uh, maybe do it as a joint manager thing as Wrexham and the Wales national team manager and see if I can produce instead of spending money on players maybe using the, the money I get on upgrading facilities and coaching to then try and get bring through young Welsh players that then can go on to play for the Wales national team and use it as a um, club and nation save build a nation type of save or something like that um, but yeah Manchester United have made 11.5 mm. we'll go with 15 and we'll hopefully oh they're happy with that that's fine I'm happy with 15 million for Wilson uh, Wilcox is back from injury so we're going to try and sell him because I don't think he's going to be good enough in the long run he's all right for this season the problem is if i sell all these players and i can't replace them because i haven't got the money i might shoot myself in the foot by doing this but we'll see drummit has gone on loan to stoke for the season so good luck to him i hope he does well um if uh, if uh, if Dan's still watching, I'll uh, I'll see if I can find my uh, love love bug sachet, and I might I might wear that next stream just for you, mate. <laughs> he 
inside joke between me and Dan. It's all right. Um, got six people now in the in watching the stream. Thank you for watching. I do appreciate it. I think six or seven the most I've had so far when I've done a previous stream, so that's nice to see. I know obviously I am like aware that most of the people watching are probably people that I, I know either in person, like my friend Dan for instance, who's watching now, um, or people on the Sci Games forums uh, who I annoy all the time with asking them for advice all the time on certain things drive them up the wall um but yeah no i appreciate any support given so yeah thank you for that apparently we're off the rim is he any good um he's 43 million i don't think we've got the money to sign him so i feel like that's a false rumor but west brom make an offer for paul johnson nobody wants wilcock okay um wage demands so i'll try again do that and that and then offer we'll see if we can get profit on the next transfer we won't lock it in because that's probably what puts them off and then we'll just offer to pay 20 grand of his wage because we don't offer to pay 40 grand that's ridiculous what's my transfer budget uh, budget screwed at the moment i've not been giving him any extra money which is really annoying i'm having to sell before i can buy the wage budget is a bit over at the moment because I've recently re-signed certain players on new contract. So I'm currently spending three million and thirty-three grand basically a week on wages, and my budget is only two million seven hundred ninety-five. So we are heavily under, and I never seem to be able to convince the board to um, give me a high wage budget. And there's no transfer clauses for me to cash in anyway. It's very frustrating. We're in the middle of January and I don't think I'm going to be making any signings. Um, if I have a look at previous signings that I made. So in the summer, we signed David De Gea. We signed a player called Ryan Cassidy, who I remember from previous football managers saying the, the DOF signed a couple of players. Um, Nathan and Annie, Annie Anru, who did well for me in a couple of the Carabao Cups games. Um, we also signed Yasir Respira. And and uh, Angel Correa, um, Angel Correa's done really well. Brahim Diaz, I think he's been injured for a while, but he he has been doing really well for us this season. He's been one of our key players. Correa, like I said, um, been a good player for us so far. But yeah, it's mostly the squad that I inherited at the start of the say Really, um, these are just good players that signed free transfer. My deal I signed. Um, like I said, I've sold quite a few players. I think. I sold two goalkeepers to Bracker and Gillespie in the summer. Um, signed a couple of the sold a couple of these players. Um, Lewis Miley on loan to Wolves managed to get me a decent fee. Um, Emil Kraft sold to Marseille, and then Lascelles recently went to Calgary. Um, Longstaff's gone on loan. Hopefully, we'll get um, they'll sign him. So yeah, we're a bit limited this season. I was hoping that the board would come out of nowhere and say that they're gonna give us a way a, a new a, another a, a, more money to spend in general, but they haven't, which is a bit annoying. Hello, Wiggins Top Boys. Nice to see you in here. Um, would be interesting to dedicated a stream episode to explain information system. Um, and what you're going to try and build although I guess that would be better on episode 1 for a new say yeah I suppose in the long run I probably will look to do that the thing is I'm not very knowledgeable on football tactics it really to be honest so I kind of just pick a, a tactic online that I, I find that looks good for the team that I'm managing and then I tend to just imp I use that tactic I don't really change too much about it and I just kind of just pick the players that, that, that will play in that system more than pick a system for the players. So yeah, it's it's one of them. It wouldn't I don't yeah. if I explained it oh, sorry about that. Um if I explained it, I don't think it would um 
I don't think it would take me very long to to do that. Um, so yeah, let me just. Oh no, I won't bother. Um, yeah, I was all right. I was gonna I just add a message off my brother, but I'll, I'll do that later. Um, deal with that later. But yeah. So, but no, I appreciate your advice on that one. I might I might look into trying to do that in the Everton YouTube series that I'm gonna start doing um, after January the first. So. Um, but yeah, Tyrell Malaysia goes to PSG instead of us. Probably not a bad thing. Um, he's not good enough, so we're not bothering with him. Right, let's have a look at our lineup. So we've got Pope in goal, Trippier right back, Bernan Botman, um, and Target, Bruno Gomez, Joe Linton, Correa, Almiron, Gordon on left, and Isaac up front. Fairly strong team to go against Fulham. Bit of a slow start in this game, not very exciting for the neutrals watching. We're coming up to 20 minutes with without a highlight oh we got an injury Almiron that's not good we'll put on Anderson so Almiron injured hopefully not for ages because he's a very good player for us still five points clear but Liverpool got uh, a game in hand first highlight of the game was simply a cross that Pope secured let's see what he can do with it passes out to target target on the left now Pushes it forward, pass it inside to Bruno. Bruno back to target. Target to Gordon. Gordon with a lovely pass to Elliot Anderson. Elliot Anderson drives on, back to Gordon. Gordon with a looping shot, goes wide. We seem to be all over, possession-wise. We seem to be all over um, Fulham. We're just not generating enough chances. Um, I see I might change things in, in half-time. Gordon now. With the cross, with the pass, sorry, target passes it in. Nice little tap in by Joe Lynn. That seems to be our um, standard goal that we seem to do. We seem to drive it forward from here on the wide, uh, in the inside the box, and then passes it to somebody in the box who just taps it in. That seems to be the the Newcastle goal, really. I suppose there's only so many goals that's going to come up on the uh, match engine, but yeah. Um, Winning 1 0, Joe Linton scores. So we're doing very well. Harry Wilson with the free kick for Fulham. Crosses it in, headed out. Great header by our player there. Gordon with a lovely ball. Oh my god, a lovely bit of skill by Isa. Oh, that was a great goal. Absolutely great goal from start to finish. Great, great little pass by Gordon who loops it over. Great bit of skill to um, keep the. Um, uh, I'm trying to think of the word now anyway great bit of skill by Isaac and then a great little tap in in the end after he goes past the goalkeeper oh no what are you doing oh I thought that was a penalty then I thought the way they, the way that everybody stopped then I thought that was going to be a penalty to Fulham Fulham don't seem to be giving up in this game they're uh, they're trying they're trying to get past us Correa now with the ball uh, at least nothing Trippier now with the ball to Burn. Burn now to Joe Linton. Joe Linton to Correa. Correa drives it forward. Target now. So, anybody in the chat, um, I've done one hour and 34 minutes. I usually only do about a two hour stream um, I probably will go to maybe two and a half maybe three hours today um, but moving forward what would you say a good amount of time for a stream of football manager content is would you say two hours is not enough would you say it's a r the right amount of time would you say three hours is better because I can go and I can start doing three hours instead 
Um, because obviously, ideally, what I want to try and do is do a three hour stream on Twitch and then chop it up, edit it, make it look nice and fancy for YouTube, and then plonk them on uh, daily, uh, like an hour episode every day on YouTube. That's the plan. But just wondering what people think, what would be a good uh, amount of time for a stream? How, how long are most people's concentration levels when it comes to this type of content? Am I entertained enough where you want me to keep going, or do you feel like um, it drags on a bit? I know obviously I'm not the nicest sounding person because I I do say um ah and like a lot, but that's probably just coming through because I'm new to this, and sometimes I get stuck halfway through a sentence when I'm trying to explain something. But yeah, uh, just let me know if if possible. But no worries if you can't target with a lovely little goal I'm going to see if target will sign a new contract because I feel like he's earned it to be honest he wants a lot of money though but I feel like he deserves it in a way I don't mind giving my players um, more wage if they're playing well they don't deserve it otherwise if they don't I don't know what happened here I don't know what's going on here now I don't know what I've done that and then go out of that there we go sorry about that let's say now for Fulham we're doing very well 3-1 here can we get another goal yes we can he's up with the goal I don't think I've put any. I don't think I've took any players off. I don't. I don't see the point now. We've only a few minutes to go. Will Fulham get another goal. Will we get possession of the ball again and get another goal ourselves? That was a good tackle by Gordon. Looked a bit suspicious, but no foul. Right header out. Korea now. Nice little pass to Isaac. Isaac tries and gets past the player he does but then gets tackled Korea now oh Gordon Lee scored yeah if um if I I'll just quickly show you I'll just quickly bring up my stream you won't be able to see it on the street i'll quickly bring up my steam game library you won't be able to see it on stream but just to read out a few of the games that i've got that are just not played yet uh assassin's creed origin batman arkham asylum um batman arkham city batman arkham knight call of duty black ops cold war City Skylines, the first one. I've heard a few bad things about the second one because of the the graphics issues that people have in. I've got Elder Scars, Elder Scrolls three, four, and five. Um, Skyrim special um, is number five. I've got Euro Truck Simulator two. I've got Farming Simulator seventeen. Um, I've got a game called Ghost Runner. I've got Gotham Knights. I've got Grand Theft Auto five, which obviously I've already mentioned. I'm planning to do bit more with that i've got all the all of the hitman games basically i bought them all uh a game called horizon zero dawn um payday 2 i've got a game called planet zoo i've got a few of the the games called stalker I've got stalker call of pipiat uh clear sky and shadow of chernobyl i've got a game called startup company which is the okay game if you like them that type of thing it's basically the startup company game is um, a game where you basically, like I said, as it says in the on the game, so you start up a company and you just try and create products that you sell on the on there, and you have to, it's it, it, it you have to be really quick at it, really to be good at it. Um, I played it for a bit and I I did all right, but I wasn't very. After a while, I got a bit fed up because it was a bit too quick for me. Um, Tropico Five, I've got I've got The Witcher, Witcher Two, and Witcher Three. I did play The Witcher One. I got a little bit bored of it because um, it's mostly talk you have to talk to people and I wasn't uh, the character and I just got really bored of it really I enjoyed just 
getting on the horse and just ro roaming around the place on the horse just galloping on the on the grass that's the only thing i found interesting about it but other people have said it's a really good game but yeah um i've got worms rumble xcom 2 and then i've got all of the yakuza games as well and a game called zombie driver so if any of them that you know of that you want me to maybe do uh like a one-off stream one day just do a few hours on it just to see an absolute newbie like me play it i don't mind because some people find it entertaining to watch people that, that haven't played a game before play it for the first time yeah so just let me know anyway back to this uh praise target for his performance hopefully um we'll get him on a new contract max thompson has agreed to go to sheffield wednesday i hope he does well uh we won't go for him uh now i would normally holiday this but because it's in the middle of the january transfer window i don't want to do that just in case we end up signing somebody or selling somebody we don't necessarily want to sell that's a terrible offer for wilcock no i don't want to expect you to agree to that um from latio we're not happy with that one Just have a quick look at this again. So uh, promotions. So we promoted our first video. We could just do that. Refresh it. See if it changes anything. So we've got. So many. Um, let's have a look. Let's go back to this. Let's go back. So we've got twenty six subscribers at the moment, and I swear I only had seven this morning. So let's have a look at channel analytics. Not that this is interesting anybody on the stream. It's just interesting to me, really. Just, just because uh, I'm a bit of a data nerd. So um, live count. What's that mean? Twenty six subscribers. Okay. But yeah, content audience. Let's have a look at that. Uh, returning viewers too. So there you go. So it kind of gives you an indication that they're not all returning viewers. So we want returning viewers. We want people to be into the into the sea into the series that we're doing with newcastle to keep them interested um i don't know why it's giving me suggestions like that okay um right okay so anyway let's go back i apologize i get i get sidetracked sometimes right callum wilson is gone to manchester united so fair play to him let's see how many goals he scored for us this season before he left we got four and 13 that's just not good enough as far as i'm concerned we did well to get the money that we got for him 12 million so yeah so we'll put some of that into the wage budget is that enough no we still got to put more we might have to put all of it in which means we're going to be very light in the striker department um yeah we're just gonna have to put it all in yeah so at least we've got a wage budget back up to normal now so just hoping but should we have a look? I'm gonna have a look see if there's any free transfers, or we might have to look at getting a loan. We need to get a striker in because we've just we just got rid of one, and we're very short on strikers. It is. So if we go striker, let's just get rid of these. Um, let's go. We'll just do. We'll just do forty for now. Uh, oh, I could. I might be able to bring in. Um, that David Martinez actually um, we'll go where's contract status on here I can't remember uh, advance forward I think that's the thing we play in a let's just go okay to this let's just go back to my tactics I think it's advance forward I'm playing yeah advance forward um, let's type in David Martinez there's probably loads of David Martinez but there we go there he is right no obviously because when we tried to sign him before uh, i'll just see if i can sign him for 200 grand hopefully the board will just let us sign him but he's a really good player he plays mostly on the wing but I've, um he can play up front as well we always convert him into a striker right let's have a look um uh, for free transfer strikers so we're looking at players there striker and then we need to 
We've got advanced forward, contract status, there we go, sorry about that. Unattached. Okay, right, and then what we'll do is we'll we'll do international and we'll go by appearances. There isn't really anybody here standing out by the looks of it. I think we're just going to have to we'll probably just have to play Joe Linton up front if we get an injury to Isa. I thought that said Mohamed Salah then. I was ever so excited for the brief period. Um, is he any good? Didn't he used to play? His brother used to play for Newcastle. Um, I think. It's a good surname. Unless it's just a similar surname. I don't know. Blair Turgot. Let's give him a scout. He might he might be an option just to play a few games if we get really stuck. But I think that it I wasn't expecting anybody amazing anyway, because it's halfway through the season and there wouldn't be anybody really there. Um let's try the loan market now. So we'll go uh, and then we'll go loan status listed what comes up now okay well that's ridiculous I mean if we can get him in on loan we're flipping out oh that's why Option oh optional so we wouldn't have to necessarily make it that so we'll do that and then we'll do that uh, we'll see if we can sign him we'll also add him to the shortlist just in case because he would be another good option these he would these two would definitely be upgrades on Wilson We'll leave that for now. We'll have a, we can always go back and look afterwards. Ah, uh, Dave Martinez is not happy because we pulled out of the deal originally, so we might have to wait towards the end of the window to sign him. But um, yeah, Dortmund has accepted that. Thank God it's optional. Um, but yeah. Playing Halifax in the FA Cup round, uh, FA Cup next. Going for this player here. Is he a striker? No, he's a left back. He's pretty decent though, by the looks of it. Um, might provide decent cover for target, I suppose, if we're really desperate and he needs to come on. Maybe the DOF went for him because we've got no transfer money. Where is Korea? Do that. Hopefully our DOF, DOF can work some magic and we can sign some decent players. Just need to quickly hydrate as they say. It's bloody difficult trying to drink when you've got a mask on a thing. At least there's a gap in this one. The other mask I wear, um, it's got a mesh thing around here, so you can't, you can't, you, you have to yank the mask off basically to have a drink. Riveting conversation, I know. <laughs> I've, uh, I think I've bored a few people because I think they've, uh, I've gone from having six people watching to one now. So, thank you to that one person that's still watching. I do appreciate it. Um, But yeah, so that's the thing. Let's have a look at what this deal is because it might end up screwing us over. Um, I don't, I don't know why they've gone for that because we haven't got any money, so I don't understand that. Um, that can go away. Uh, optional, at least that's optional. So if we do, if we get rid of that. And then let's negotiate. They want that they can go whistle. Actually, it really doesn't matter because I'm not going to sign him unless my DOF signs him without me knowing. But yeah, optional fee gives us a way where we can just have him on loan and we don't have to be obliged to sign him. Sorry, I'm just fixing the mask. Right, there we go. Yeah, so we're coming up to nearly two hours now. I'm not. I'm probably gonna. 
play for another 40 minutes. So that will take us to 4 o'clock, yeah. So I'm going to play till 4 o'clock, and then I'm going to call it a day. Um, but yeah, thank you for everybody so far that's been watching and contributing in the chat. I do appreciate it. Um, so yeah, I hope people have found it entertaining, whether you're a fan of Football Manager or not. Yeah, um, I really wish the owner. See, there's other people that's done saves recently as Newcastle, and they told me they got the owner to give them some money, extra money in January. But that's not happening. So I'm really not happy right now because I was really, I was really hoping to get some money. I wanted to try and sign uh, Olmerson in January instead of waiting until the summer. Because I think in the summer there'd be more teams that would go for him. So I don't think we've got a chance of going for him. Um, if we go Victor. If I spelt it wrong, I'll tell you what, I'll just go Napoli. Napoli, clubs, Napoli, let's find him on here. So yeah, he's a uh, Victor, oh sorry, Os... I can't say his name, Osimhen, Osimhen. I don't know why I thought his name was Orm Ormahen, but anyway. Right. So he's he's rated he's valued at eighty six million, which is basically what our budget is in the summer. I think it just means we've got to make sure that we've what wages is he on? He's on hundred and fifteen. He's going to want double that to come here. So we're going to have to do some. I think we're going to have to sell somebody else to put that into the wage budget before we go for him in the summer. Maybe we'll get a bigger budget than eighty six million because of the fact we've won the if we win the Premiership. Um, and also if we do well in the Champions League but he has got interest active interest in Real Madrid and then there's a team in Saudi Arabia that Ronaldo plays for that's interested in him so let's just see if he'll come to us I'm delighted to hear that the interest has been very keen on joining Newcastle United here's what he get the deal done 86 million is minimum fee um Obviously, he would be a starting player. He would be a star player anyway. He wants 235k, and uh, he wants it between that. So we're probably looking at about 250k. Um, he wants a long-term contract, which is good. He would want a minimum fee release clause of 103 million. Well, what? Well, there's no point signing him if he's going to leave for a. And we get an extra 20 million for him. I'm trying to negotiate, but so it's only negotiate the wage. I don't think it's. Not negotiate the minimum fee. Um, stall. If that annoys him, that annoys him. We probably won't get him anyway. If Real Madrid are after him, um, he'll definitely go there before he goes to us. Right, let's try and get the rest of January done before I head off for the day. And that'll lead us nicely for the rest of the season. And then when I come back on tomorrow, um, probably, uh, probably be online about probably be on stream about one p.m. tomorrow. Anybody listening that wants to watch tomorrow? But obviously, I've also got the video on demand thing on Twitch, and also any episode that you will watch on here will be on YouTube the next day. Or the same day depending on how long it takes to upload onto youtube so there's there's plenty of places where you can find this if you don't get a chance to watch this live but i do appreciate the people that do take the time to watch this live and stay watching it instead of leaving because obviously it shows that you're interested in what i'm doing and that's so i i do appreciate that because it is hard to there's so many different people doing football manager content so I do appreciate that you're taking the time to watch me. Hopefully you like my Lucha Libre mask. I have got a few more. I've got some some of us I will potentially show them to people in the next stream. But I won't do it today. Okay, so this is annoying. Mava Didi is contract expiring. So let's see if we can sign him a new contract. Hopefully we can. He's been doing well. He's been he's uh he's doing well in training. 
he's done well for the for the uh, reserves and that and then hopefully he'll go on and do well on his loan spell um, has he played yet for the has he played for the team he's gone on loan so he's played two games already for Crawley he's not done exactly well but he's doing alright uh, let's have a good development reports there we go uh, get match reports yeah get match reports so there we go we'll see how he progresses So they're recommending me these two. If I had the money, I would sign both of them. But I ain't gonna be able to sign both. If I can't sign him, I might try and sign him. But he is injured at the moment. He is younger though. Uh, injury. He's currently out with a pulled calf muscle. He's got in training. He's only out for eight days though, so it shouldn't affect him too much. So, but somebody, um, Blackburn's made a loan offer for Joe Wilcox until the end of the season. They've offered a conditional future fee of 6.5 million to be paid at the end of the loan to make permanent. I think that's probably the best deal we're probably going to get from, to be honest. Let's see if I can negotiate a bit. Let's see if they'll take some of his wage offers. Let's do that. Um, let's negotiate. Oh, they're happy with that. So we're going to get a future fee after five games played of 6.5 million and then installments of 7.7 .7, so it works out quite nicely and they're going to take 40% of his wage while he's there so that um, just bear with us I've just got to um, I'm going to have to I'm going to have to end this stream for now but I'll come back in a minute Um, sorry about that. I just had a knock on the door. I thought it was something important, but I don't know if you get knocks on the door. And it was just a bloody uh, every driver, uh, every delivery thing, because I live in a building with apartments. And my next door neighbour, who I barely spoke to, put me down as um, like I said, like <laughs> basically said that to drop it off in my flat without asking me first so uh, if anybody wants a, a parcel uh, feel free but yeah I'm back on sorry about that guys um, hopefully nobody's left that was still missing it was just it just panicked me because I was just like well, who's knocking on the door I didn't expect that. right so um, what time is it now we'll do um We'll do another half an hour, like I said, we'll play till four o'clock. So we've managed to somehow convince the board to let us loan in Yusufa Makoko, who obviously people who play football manager will know how good he is. 
Um, I don't know if he's doing well in real life. Can we have a look? Let's have a look. Let's see how he's doing in real life. So we'll type in the what's his full name again? Yes, Moo Coco. Moo Coco. Let's see how he's doing at the moment. So he is. Um, So he's playing more football for Dortmund, but I don't think he's doing very well. Anyway, right. Uh, right, okay, here we go. So we've managed to get him on loan. He's got a new physio. It's always good. Um, just move the mic back into place. There we go. Uh, I wish I was smooth like other uh, streamers. I feel like. I just feel like so so clumsy at doing this. I know I'm only I know I'm new, but um yeah. Anyway, we've signed Makuku on loan. He is a definite upgrade to what we had with Wilson. Uh like to hold me in and discuss increasing the wage budget. Oh, that's exciting. Okay, yes, I'm happy with that. So the wage budget's been increased. How much has it been increased by? So it's given us about four hundred grand. So that will help us. I mean, this, the budget's changed in the summer, so I don't think it makes much difference. But if we can, you know, we might be able to sign uh, o Osimhem, Osimhem, the Nigerian striker from uh, Napoli. But we'll see. Um, these finances don't look good, but I think the chairman will just sort that out. So we don't need to worry about finances when you're playing as a Newcastle United, I don't think. Yeah, I did do a previous save with Newcastle once uh, when they had the takeover. I managed to download a file. I think it was for FM twenty three, and um, yeah, I managed to. I got in my first season with Newcastle when I did it on FM twenty three. I managed to get them in top four of the Premiership in my first season, and then I was given uh, quite a bit of money. I think it was one hundred and twenty million to spend in the summer, and I managed to sign Victor. Uh, Oshin, Oshin, I'm going to get his name right. I'm going to have a look again because I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm being rude if I don't get his name right. Right, Victor Osimhen, Osimhen. There we go. Uh, anybody that knows me well enough, including my my girlfriend, will t will tell you how bad I am when it comes to pronouncing people's names. Um, I have a British Hindi um, girlfriend and. Her mama, her her mom, um, she is um, she's lived in England for twenty years, but she's she's lived in Africa and she's lived in India. But but her name is um, fairly long, and she doesn't like people abbreviating her name. And I always seem to butcher her name whenever I try and pronounce it. But it always uh, makes it always makes my partner and her mom laugh when I try and attempt to to pronounce her name. So at least they're not offended, right? We got another physio. We need to make space for him. Let's see who the worst one of our physios is so far. It's either Nathan Ring or Sean Beach or Aaron Harris. We won't get rid of him. Uh, we'll just get rid of Sean Beach. Yeah, so we got another situation where we'll just get rid of Nathan Ring. Bringing in a player called Al Habad Abdu. Um, bringing him to play back up for the target, I assume, or he'll probably just be in the reserves. He's probably just a reserve player, basically. Five days away from playing Halifax. I'm probably going to um, rotate the team against Halifax. I don't see the point in playing our first team. We'll play some because obviously we don't want to. We don't want a result where Halifax destroys us because we're playing our youth players. But 
yeah, this could be a game where we could do with uh, giving our first team players a bit of a rest, but and also playing a few players that are in that have been not getting much first team football as well. So it'd be a good game for Maluka uh, Makoku to start. To be honest, give him some experience playing in the Premiership. Yeah, a bit of a quiet transfer window, really. To be honest, he's not very, he's not good enough. So we're not signing him for the sake of it. Let's do our recruitment meeting. Um, let's have a look, see if anybody's attracting interest. He is on loan. Oh, I could send him out on loan, I suppose. He's only twenty-two. You never know. He might, he might, if he if he does well on loan, it might give him the confidence. He might play better. recommendations well it's all good you recommending these players but if I haven't got the money to sign them it's not going to do well is it Douglas Louise would love to have a player like Douglas Louise there be good with him it'd be good to have Douglas Louise um, Joe Linton and Bruno Gamara as, as a midfield free to be honest but it wouldn't, it wouldn't fit my uh, system I only have two central uh, Kurt Zuma, I will never sign him because he's a horrible man for off-field reasons. West Ham fans might disagree and might actually think he's the best player in the world, but yeah. Don't care how good you are as a football player, if you're a horrible human, you, you're not interested. Uh, no. Nah. Cameron Ferguson. Two days away. Joe Wilcock on loan. All oh, this looks a better offer than the last one. We'll do that. We'll see if that. And then let's see if they're happy with that. They probably won't be. Oh, they are. So this one's better than the other one. So we we'll get nineteen and a half million for him if it all goes well. Uh, it's an optional future fee, so we'd have to do very well. So the likelihood is we're probably going to get nine point five million for him, but I think that's still about the same as the other deal. And if he does well, they'll sign on a permanent transfer, gives us an extra ten million as well. Uh, and he'll more likely to go to Burnley than he will to Blackburn, I assume. Could have done with having money to sign him. He's a very good player. He's had a bit of a weird career, isn't he? Uh, Malmo to Notts Forest, then back to Notts and Malmo. Then he went to Bordeaux on loan. Then he went to Sheffield United. Now he's at Spurs. But yeah, um, very good player. Unfortunate first name. Um, but yeah, very good player. Thank you to the three people that are currently watching the stream. Um, if you've only just joined, because I've only just rebooted the stream... I had to stop the original stream because I had a knock on the door and I still haven't figured out how to pause the stream while I went out so I had to just quickly end it. Um, but yeah. So if you start in watching the stream, I'm currently in the middle of January in my save. Um, sometimes I do these things on autopilot and not and, and without explaining, sorry. So at the moment, for people who have just joined, we are currently first in the Premiership uh, with seven-point lead. Liverpool have now played their game, so we've got a seven-point lead. So we're doing very well. We are strong favourites to win the title at the moment. Let's have a look at season preview. So we were, we were fourth favourite to win the Premiership. Liverpool were the favourite with Man City second. Isaac out for a couple of days. Well, we weren't going to play him in the next game anyway, so that's all right. Right, so we're coming up to our FA Cup game now. We'll try and pick a rotated team if possible. So let's go quick pick. We'll go to pick rotated squad. We'll go full rotation. 
Let's see if this will decent enough. Yeah, this this should this should be this should be decent enough, really. Um, the only thing I might want to do is put. I'm going to put my poker one for Cassidy. No offense, Cassidy. But yeah, I think that's pretty much all right. Uh, De Gea gets another game, so we should destroy Halifax Town. I'll be genuinely worried if we don't win six or seven nil against these but I mean it's the FA Cup anything can happen um, but yeah. Barnes with the ball now it's a uh, on loan player Cambiasso I wonder if he's related to Esteban Cambiasso former Parma Argentina player is it Parma? I think it's Parma he played for to be wrong any, any fans of Italian football please Correct me if I've got that wrong. Cambiasso now. He floats the ball in. We lose possession. I don't know if that's. I don't think that's. I don't think that's. It's not Delhi Alley, obviously. Um, would be funny though if it was. Cambiasso now to Wilcock. Wilcock with the drive, saved by their goalie. Try and improve here. Ball now with the ball. Out to Almiron. It's Anderson. Barnes with a lovely ball. What the hell were you doing then, Makoko? I don't know, I don't know what you're doing at Dortmund, but we don't we don't play um we're not trying to play hit the crossbar, we're trying to play hit score a goal. No. I pay, I, you know, I'm bringing you in to score goals not to blast the ball over that's what I'm talking about that's how it's done that's how you do it that's how you score Makuko sorry Makoko right 1-0 up after 30 minutes let's get some more let's get the confidence up in the players especially the players that haven't played much yet Help the morale at the club. Let's keep it going. We've got strong morale anyway. To be honest, we're top of the Premiership. We should be doing well. I think we might still be in the Champions League. I could be wrong. I'll have a look after this game. Shah now to Libramento. Libramento to Almiron. Back to Libramento. Libramento back to Almiron. Almiron with the lovely little delicate pass to Wilcock. I think that was a defensive error that gave the ball to Wilcock. I don't think that was a, a beautiful pass in the end. But... You know, so this is quite funny. So we had Wilcock who assisted Makoko's goal, and then Makoko assisted Wilcox's goal. I remember when I used to gamble a bit more than I do now. I remember that you used to be able to get specials when Harry Kane was at still at Spurs, and you used to be able to get. Um, I think it was something ridiculous like 101 on Harry Kane to score assisted by Son and then Son to score assisted by Harry Kane and there was games where that happened consistently so um, it never happened when I did it though whenever I put like a five a fiver on them to do it it never worked and then whenever I didn't bet, bet on them they uh, they seemed to do it which is uh, quite convenient Uh, Makoko doing very well on his debut let's see if he can get his hat trick in his first game that would be good wouldn't it that would make him an instant hero at Newcastle he scores a hat trick in his first game I reckon the Geordie boys will love him if I can't sign uh, Osimhen I might even look at maybe if, if, if Makoko does really well I won't sign him for 125 million, but I might try and negotiate the deal with Dortmund to something a little bit more favourable. So over a period of time, I might sign Makoku because he is highly rated. Um, I don't know if he's on FM 23. He had a minus nine potential, I think. So I don't know what he's like on 24, but obviously he started strong, and if he carries on playing as well as he does then it you know it's, it's worth us bringing him in on a on a full transfer because i think at the 
If we can get him for 80 million, the same amount of money we get for Oshin, uh, Oshin M. Dan Boone with the header there, with the goal. Um, if we can get him for the same amount of money we could get for Victor Osim Hem, um, then uh, he's younger than he, uh, Victor, and uh, I think he's younger. He's a few years younger. Here he is. Um, so it would probably be a better signing in the long run. Yeah, let's make sure we don't see to Halifax. I'll be a bit annoyed if we do. Uh, we've got target in central defence for a bit. So, got a couple of minutes left. They might not even come on, actually. Korea. Oh, at right, the post. Oh, no, ain't too bad, to be honest. I'm, I'm not bothered about it. We've played a rotated squad. Um, Sorry, rotated team. And that, so, we're doing well. Yeah, nice little 4 0 win. Right, let's check what time it is. We've got probably enough time for another game or two. Let's see how we get on. Uh, Mavivi is playing fairly well, so that's good to see. He's played three games now. He's upped his average rating, so he obviously was watching this stream and thought he better impress me. Uh, let's praise Makoko. Delorado spotted, keeping tabs on Joe Wilcox. So Sevilla also potentially after Wilcox. We'll sell that now. Can we sell that now? No. Not well. Right, next game, very important game against Arsenal. We we don't need to win, but we sh we, we should win really because we should be just seven points ahead of Liverpool and Man United. So Arsenal were second at one point. They've uh, slowly gone down. Uh, he's not good enough, so we'll cancel that. Yeah, so the, I'll probably stream again tomorrow about 1 o'clock. Now, after New Year, I will set up a schedule on Twitch so people can see. But in the meantime, feel free to um, get notifications when I when I come on to stream. Uh, I know I know my friend Dan's already done that. But yeah, anybody else that's listening, um, feel free to do that. We're going to tie him up on the new contract because he looks like a good prospect. Also, uh, he's a left back as well, so he's better than that African player that we signed. So he he really should be. Uh, let's loan him out again, but we could promote him to the first team next season because I think he'd be a decent backup to target if we need to be. But yeah, so yeah, so I'm planning to do a schedule, but we just I just need to get New Year's Eve and New Year's Day out of the way, and then we'll be all back to normal then because it kind of just. You know, from Christmas Eve to second of January, they all all the days kind of just a bit chaotic and merged together. Joe Linton's not happy that I've changed his playing time, but we'll go compromise. There we go. Um, leave that as it is. So yeah, I think we've got twelve minutes, ten minutes left. Sorry, so we might we might do we'll do. This Arsenal game, and then we'll just get the rest of the transfer window done, and then I'll call it a day. But I am enjoying the doing this, um, so I'm getting used to it a bit more now, gradually. Uh, I've got no transfer budget, but I'm going to try and see if I can get him in. Um, so yeah, I'm enjoying this at the moment. Uh, enjoying the interaction I'm having with people as well, so I do appreciate it. So yeah, so thank you for that. Um, Mavivi had a fine game. The advance forward's terrific overall performance was capped with an assist, so that's good. He's doing very well for him. We'll add him to the shortlist. Do that. Add him as well. He's really good actually, to be honest. How much is he valued at? Uh, nah, out of our price range. I wish FFP wasn't involved on Football Manager. I understand it in real life, but I know Football Manager wants to be as realistic as possible. But you know, it, may, it makes more of, more of a fun game when you have unlimited money to spend. 
to a point. I mean, I get bored of saves like that, in uh, jokes aside. So, yeah. Oh, Diaz is back. That's good. So, we've got Pope in goal, Trippier right back, Shah in the middle of defence with Botman, Target as left back, Bruno and Joe Leighton, the familiar central midfield pair, Career on the right, Brahim Diaz back in the middle, Gordon on left, Isaac. So, this is probably our strongest team for the first time in a long time. So, yeah. Hopefully, we should be able to beat Arsenal. Right. Fingers crossed. Is it too early to encourage? Uh, no. It's encouraging. I'm sure that helps in any way. I mean, this is hilarious. One shot, one on target, but zero XG for Arsenal. I don't know how that works. I suppose it was on target, but it was probably such a rubbish shot that there was no there was no threat of it going in. Basically, that's what it probably means by that. Uh, let's try and encourage again. Isaac, this is the worst time for you to be underperforming because I've got Makuko uh, Makoku now, who's just as good as you, and uh, or nearly as good as you, and he scored two goals and got an assist in his last game. So you need to get your thumb out your backside, young man. Um, because you'll be coming off if you carry on. Same with you, Korea. I haven't got anybody to replace you yet, but I'm going to demand more from you. Gordon now with the ball to target, target with the pass. Oh, I think that was uh, Joe Linton with the shot that hit the post then. Arsenal do well to get rid of it. Let's uh, try firing up in a minute. When we get a chance, we're going to try and fire up the players. Bruno there losing the ball. We do not want to be losing the ball to Arsenal. Oh my God, that could have been an own goal then. Thank God for our goalkeeper. Come on, can... Can I can I can I do the shout please? Why is it why why is it why can't he just that's not real life. It's not like in real life a manager would not be able to shout. He has to wait for a certain period in the game. I mean this is ridiculous. It's not changed ages. I want to fire up my team. Can I do it now? Oh come on. Oh my god, that was a absolute defensive error. I'm gonna uh, when you can't do anything it's very frustrating because you feel like if you don't shout at the players in a second it's going to be an, um, a game lost come on what are you doing what's going on here it's got to be a bug anybody watching is that a bug or not that is ridiculous right Shah is knackered so we'll take him off Right, can we do it now? Yes, we can. Let's fire up the players. They've been the better team. They're just... Um, I think Arsenal's had the better chances, in theory. But we've had an XG of 2, two and we haven't scored, so that's... And they've just need scored as well. What's going on? Yeah. It, oh, pardon me for burping. Um, Isaac is coming off. Makoko is coming on. Andrew Career is coming off. We'll put... Him on Elliot Anderson. Yeah, so um, the mic I've got at the moment is okay. Um, I'm probably looking to upgrade it at some point. Um, th there's been a few that people have recommended me. I can't remember what the one that, that's called. The blue slump. It's called a blue slump, and I can't remember. Blue harvest. I don't know. It's probably wrong with that one. Um, so yeah, so I'll get a better quality mic at some point. But this one will do for now when I'm starting off. So we drew nil nil with Arsenal, which is okay. It could have been worse, but we're now only five points ahead of Liverpool and Manchester United. So the pressure's on us now. So that's that. So let's just get the rest of this window done. And then we'll call it a day. 
Okay, I've got my first ever spam message. I need to. block him spam there we go so he is banned so we had our first ever spam chat message and i banned him just uh anybody for future reference who decide to come on here just to advertise absolute nonsense you will get banned right so let's take part in the transfer window um, he seems like a good prospect for the future jamie miley um because he's on the transfer Not as good as his brother, anyway. I went too fast with that press conference thing, and now I've told everybody that Anderson's on the move when he's not. Uh, let's add him. Not that we need goalkeepers, but it's always good to add good players on the shortlist because you never know when you might need to strengthen. No, no, I don't, I don't, I don't want to go for this, this me as well, this one. I don't think I've got the money for him. Why is my, why is my owner going for players and we've got no money? Ah, uh, that's a very won't come. He's only just signed a new contract, you git. Um, has he got a minimum fee clause? We'll look at trying to get him in in the summer because he's definitely a quality player. Go shake this down. Let's do twenty million. Let's get rid of that. Um, no, we'll get rid of that. No, you want way too much money, you greedy sods. All right, let's see if we can sign David Martinez. Um, I can't see my keyboard. What does now? David. There we go. David Martin. Oh, for God's sake. There we go. Sorry about that. Um, right, Dave Martinez. There we go. Let's see if we can sign him now. Yes, we can. Excellent. Yes. He is a very good player. And he only gets better with age. Asim Hen. Is Real Madrid not still after him? Yeah, they are. Uh, Mancini. We're, we're going for... I mean, he's a good player. Um... We definitely strengthen it in the centre back department. He's great at headering, concentration and determination and ag aggression. I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing. I think it's a good thing. Natural fitness as well. And he's driven. So he's definitely the type of player we need to be bringing in the club to improve it. So hopefully we can sign him. Uh, let's see if we can negotiate this down a bit though. Hold on. Wait a second. Okay, we're going to go back to that in a second because I think I've missed something here. Um, no. Okay. So go 20 million, 10 million, 30 million. Let's round it up to a nice 60 million. There we go. Happy days. So I've missed something here because I've now got a transfer budget of 91 million. Hmm, what to do, what to do. I need to go into my inbox. I've missed something here. Let's keep going down. Anybody in my chat, did you see anything on... Because I sometimes go too quick. Did you see anything about my budget being improved? Or was it just simply because I sold a few players? Did I sell anybody? Um, I'm not going to pay out them clauses. Um, transfer history. Did I sell anyone for loads of money? No, I didn't. I only sold. I oh, know I sold Wilson. I pulled that back in my wage budget. So the owners give me money out of nowhere, but I don't remember seeing it. Keep scrolling down. Unless he's just done it out of nowhere, and there's not been any any indication of it. No. How weird is that? I'm not complaining. Do ah, there we go. Oh, bloody hell. I feel like such an idiot. I'm pleased to announce the board have raised the current transfer budget to help achieve a high position in the league after exceeding expectations. Well, thank you very much. 
the amount of money available for the transfer will be 91 million so what what day is this oh, I don't know. what does it say oh i don't know anyway so we've got some money and we've got some wage budget so let's see if we can go for a cheeky i'm not even going to attempt to spell his name because i'll get it wrong let's see if we can go for um amishan 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 yeah amishan amishan sorry let's try that we probably won't get him because we've left it too late i wish in hindsight um we're also going for mancini so i need we need to prioritize mancini over amishan um not that amishan wouldn't be um but we just need we need quality in center back position we've got enough we've got decent strikers in makoku and izak so amishan is just basically like a galacto luxury signing we probably won't sign him but we'll see that's the out the door as well he'll go on loan hopefully he'll go on to do well so i knew we'd get some money eventually but they left it flipping late didn't they buy now yeah. so we've got this player ali Koo, who's a a very good winger he used to play for dundee united so i remember him from that then he went to play for brentford Went to Bohemian on free, done really well for them. Um, I don't think he's going to play for us so this season. So if I'm going to, I'm going to send him out on loan because we've got enough. Oh no, what am I doing? We've got enough uh, quality on the wings. I think. We'll do that. Do that. Register him in the squad just in case. Oh, this is an error. Just ignore. yeah 91 million thank you very much i can't believe i missed that i feel like an idiot mancini's come so that will probably price us out of signing victor amashen um because we've now not got we need to adjust this as well uh quite uh, we can't do it anymore uh couldn't do anything else here. let's see if we can expand the stadium Yeah, another recruitment. So projection's not good, but I think the chairman, uh, just the owners, are just loaded. They'll just they'll just give us a sponsorship deal to sort that out. Oh, we're in. We're on for an exciting transfer end of the transfer window. We weren't expecting this, were we? Um. I don't think I'm going to get Amashen, so we, we do need to probably... If we get him and we've got him and Mancini, that would be one hell of an improvement in our central defence. So we'll go for him. We can go for Amashen in the summer window because we know we've got a certain amount of money coming in the summer. So we'll see. If we can't get Amashen, then I'll be very happy if we got um, Demonde. Demonde. Diamande, um, he's another good young player, Jonathan Rowe, but they reject it, so we'll add him to the shortlist. Yeah, gone a little bit over, but I don't mind because it might be a happy ending by the end of this, so I'm happy with that. Um, it won't be much longer now anyway, we'll be finished up in a minute. But thank you to everyone who's been watching. Through the stream if anybody's watched the whole stream thank you i really appreciate that and the people who just come and add a little bit of watch and that i appreciate that as well sometimes you haven't got time to watch a um uh, two and a half hour stream so i appreciate you turning up even if it's for like five ten minutes if it's not your cup of tea i understand and i don't hold it against you hopefully um for the people who do like this um i appreciate it Think we might run out of time in the window for us to sign anybody else by the looks of it yeah cancelled that's annoying so how much money have we got 
So we've got 59 million. So we can still try and sign on these players. Um, did we sign Diamonde then? Did he just... Did we get him in there? No. Okay. So let's just cash in these transfer fees. Transfer clauses, sorry. And then we'll figure out how much money we've got. Buy these. I probably won't have much left now after that. Because there's quite a few clauses that need to be bought out. I just tend to buy them out just because they annoy me if they're there. So we've now got 55 million. So we've probably got enough money for Diamond Diamande to come in the summer and then hopefully with our new budget we'll have enough for Omashen. So we'll just type in sport in. Club players Diamande. Same Diamande. They want 69 million, we've only got 55 million. No, cancel that. Let's go. Hold on, we could always sign. He's uh he's just as good. So we'll go for him instead. See if he's a little bit he's 51 million, so sorted. So we'll sign him in the summer. He comes in the summer. So we'll have him and uh Mancini in central defence, and we can always go for Diamade. Um following season because Mancini will probably be about 28-29 by that point right I'm just gonna so we've signed a new one year partnership with a telecoms community uh, telecommunication company it's open that deal worth 52 million provide the club with avenues to connect in the European Union so that's good extra 52 million watching none of it's going in the uh, transfer budget Right, I'm just going to keep forwarding this now until the Brentford game and then I'm going to save it. So, uh, you know, feel free to leave now if you want. You're not really going to miss anything. The transfer window's finished. But thank you to everyone um, who's been watching today and contributing in the chat. I really appreciate it. Um, I know I sound like a broken record, keep saying it, but it does really mean a lot to me. So, yeah, so thank you for that. Uh, and we got Mbappe on a short list, I think. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, Get him on a short list as well. Quality player he is, Odegaard. You get runner up again in the manager of the month. That's frustrating. Packet signs a new contract. Set delay. somebody else will come in for it right so we've got to register some new players now so this might upset uh, that's annoying um, you have four space available in the squad selection also select I oh so I can only register that's annoying I don't remember that being happening uh, I need Mancini who else can I un who can I unregister I could probably unregister it can be us so um Elliot Coop I can do that with still gotta do one more I'm not gonna get rid of Makuko this this is really annoying this is I don't want a holiday because when I've done the holiday before it's absolutely completely ruined the the, the squad because of the because of the rules I don't I'd never heard of these rules anybody in chat has it really? Oh, okay. It must. I've, I've only just realised that in pr other saves, I've um, I've never come across that. I don't know what to do now. Um. Any any. Um. Any advice, Kuvard's draw? What would you do? It's either Kuf It's either Makuko, or Mancini. Essentially, I can't unregister any more players. I've already done that. Hold on, let's try that one first, see if that does anything. Ah, oh, it's all right, we've sorted it. We've sorted it. Uh, let me just check before I close this. 
yeah we sorted it that's good right i'm going to save this now and i'm going to call it a day so um thank you just now kufar's draw um and thank you for being on the stream thank you to my friend dan um and thank you to wiggins as well and uh, anybody else that's been on the stream uh, i'm going to call it a day now so yeah so thank you for that and um have a nice day the rest of your day and i'll be back on tomorrow probably about one o'clock so yeah have a nice evening all the best thank you